Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning here in Arizona. Weather is finally, finally cooling down. I can almost wear a sweater, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about making the S10 look a little bit better. Today's video I'm very excited about, and I've had this for a little while. I've, I've kind of been trying to keep it behind the scenes and out of the way of, of all the film and uh, I just haven't had time to get it put on yet, but today's finally the day. And uh, this video is brought to you by one of the subscribers. A subscriber bought me this just out of the blue, out of the kindness of his own heart. He messaged me and was like, hey dude, you need one of these. I'm buying it and ordering it to you. And at first I was like, no dude, you can't do that. <laughs> but he kind of insisted and so here we are today. So what we're installing today is fiberglass cowl induction hood. So this hood is a Featherlight Composites. It's a full fi fiberglass pin-on style hood. There's nothing there, so, and it also needs some trimming. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Sunoco style hood, I believe they call this. Um, I've got a mounting rail kit from Motion Raceworks to help mount it down. But I'd been looking at these hoods for so long and I just, I just could never swing it. I'm super stoked to have this and very grateful for Isaiah for purchasing this for me and sending it to me. So this is today's project. So do me a favor guys, I'm going to put Isaiah's Instagram down below in the description and I'm going to put it right here on the screen. I don't think there's a lot on his Instagram right now, but he told me about this project that he's worked on. It's an old Ford pickup truck. He's going to be doing a short bed conversion on it. Uh, I think he said like Crown Vic front suspension, LS swap, full cage, like building it into a drag truck. So I'm kind of excited to see pictures of it because it's something different, not the typical everyday build that you see. So yeah, do me a huge solid. Go follow this dude, show him some love and, and stuff for uh, helping out the channel. I've had this hood since before the duct tape drags. It got delivered, I think the week before, like the Monday before duct tape drags, but I just been so busy I haven't had time to do the fitting and the trimming and mounting and I've had to like hide it in the background of some of the videos and stuff so I'm super excited to just get this thing finally on and plus it's just gonna make the S10 look so badass um, but other than that guys there's nothing left to do than get started on it. So this hood does come all the way up to the glass and this piece gets removed. So this has got to come off and then I've got to get some measurements from the front and back. That's why the tape's on the hood already so that I can mark it and then trim the edges. All right, so I got my measurements. So now it's just time to transfer them over to the hood and say a prayer that I don't mess this up. It's such a nice day. Roxy even decided to join us. <laughs> So I got all my measurements done on the hood. Now I brought it back inside and I've got the lights off and the garage door kind of shut because I'm using this laser level to connect the two dots. I tried using like string and stuff, but with the curvature of the hood, it just didn't work very well. So I'm gonna use this laser line. I'm gonna go and make some marks along this, this uh, laser and hopefully it's straight enough and works. So this one, when it flashes, you'll see that the my mark's right there. And then down on that end, I've got it lined up with my mark. So I'm just gonna go along with my Sharpie and mark along here, all the way down. And then do that again on this side. 
and then figure out the best way to cut this. Now I've never really worked with fiberglass before. I had seen some videos online where guys were saying to use one of these reciprocating cutting tools. So that's what I'm gonna try. And then I also know that I need to be wearing a respirator and eye protection because this stuff is nasty. And I'm also gonna move it back outside, cut it out there so that all the mess is outside, not my garage. So this tool works pretty good, except for it destroyed my blade. And I only got one side done, so. <sighs> See what we can do for the other side. So, as I previously mentioned, this mounting kit comes from Motion Raceworks. Um, just a hood rail mounting kit. Comes with the, these rails here that I'm about to open. And then all the hardware, the rivets, the Zeus fasteners, your choice of plain or black, and all of that in one kit. Um, if you guys want more info on this stuff, just head over to their website. They've got videos on how to install this stuff. So I'm not gonna go too far into detail because it's already been done. The thing about Motion Raceworks is you usually pay a premium for their parts, but they are made in America, and they are always really nice pieces. What's kind of cool about these though, is that, see these are the holes for the rivets, so this will get riveted here, and they provide a slotted hole in the middle, so that you can put a screw in there, and then get your height right up and down before you rivet it. So. That's what's kind of cool about these. I almost forgot, put the tape down. It's not like I need to protect the pristine paint of this truck, but uh, this helps with making marks and measurements. That way you can mark on here. And then when you put the hood on, you can line up your marks with the holes here. Bada bing, bada boom. So now I just decide where I want these to go and I'll probably about right there and these are flat but they're thin enough that you can kind of mold them to the curve of your fender if you need to so we're just gonna go with that
drill back there. Ooh. Might pull the fender off to do those back ones. See how close it is. Oh, it's actually pretty close. All right, so I got this side on. This side kind of, you know, really tight. I've got this tape here to help hold it on because with it on the glass, it like wants to slide forward and it's kind of like, almost like it's twisted a little bit. But with this side really nice and tight, you come over here and there's a really big gap. So I'm gonna try and split the difference so that, you know, the gaps are equal on each side, makes it look a little bit better. But so far, I think we're doing all right. The UPS guy, or I mean the FedEx guy, just showed up with this big old box. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but came today. That is my new grill. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm kind of working on making the S10 look better. And I'm not really a chrome guy, so chrome grill is going away. It's going to be black. I'm going to smoke out the tail lights, smoke out all the marker lights. And then probably get... A roll pan for the back finally and get rid of this chrome trim too so that's all on trying to make the truck look cooler well i bombed that one this uh this gap's just way too big so this side is decent it could be a little bit tighter but i could live with that but this side like gets wider and that's like almost a half inch right there. Uh, so needless to say, the hood's not getting finished today. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna ha have to add some fiberglass, do some body work. Um, it's not turning out to be a quick, easy install, but that's my bad. Um, I don't know how it got so far off. I measured everything like three times, double checked everything, but it, it happens. So I think to keep this video going and to get you guys a video out relatively soon, I'm gonna throw the grill in and see how that fits, put in the other headlight and uh, kind of mess around with that. Yeah, kind of bummed about the hood, but We'll keep moving and uh, getting some of this other stuff put on. Maybe at the end of this video, it'll at least look decent enough and pick up my spirits. Because <laughs> right now I'm pretty bummed.
it is hours later sun is almost going down and you can tell it looks like i got it on there but <laughs> i did go ahead and get this side all fastened down um, these still need to be riveted on final they're just holding it on for now because i wanted to make sure that i got this side you know where it needed to be so that when i fix it see how big that gap is so that when i fix it i know exactly how much so the hood is on halfway um, looks half decent but there you can see the new front end black grill the headlights um now these headlights i'm not a real fan of the way these look i've never really liked these led style headlights but i really wanted the halo here so i think what i'm going to do is um, black these out because they also have like this really ugly dot right there so i think if i smoke those smoke those smoke those it'll look really good and i may paint the grill black so it's like a gloss black instead of just this plastic but i don't know there's also this like weird piece in the corner back here that like sticks up so i'm gonna have to try and like i don't know maybe heat it up and reform that it does it on both sides so i wasn't even going to put this video up because of the hood fiasco but kind of wanted to show you guys that you know not everything is unicorns and rainbows in this kind of stuff uh this kind of stuff happens and it sets you back a little bit but i don't know I, i'm gonna learn a new skill of fiberglassing i guess um <laughs> but yeah i'll get this thing fixed um i don't know if I can just, because basically what I need to put back on is basically the width of what I cut off. I don't know how I screwed that up that much. But I'm almost wondering if I could just like glass this piece back on somehow. That way I don't need to like build a whole new structure, so to say. But yeah, I'm going to figure that out over the next few days. It might be... A little while before I actually tackle that project, I might even see if I know anybody that can possibly help me with it because I don't really know fiberglass body work kind of stuff very well. So, um, but got the new grill on, got the headlights in, and uh, I need, still need to do a little bit of wiring on those. I got to wire in the halo lights and uh, and stuff like that, but. Hopefully this video is somewhat entertaining and learn something to measure maybe five times and cut once instead of just twice, but, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. We'll, uh, we'll get it fixed and uh, huge shout out to Isaiah again. Um, do me a favor. If you guys didn't already go, go give him a follow and uh, support those who support me. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. So have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the next one.